Welcome to another free tip of the day brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to format a notes field, a simple text box on a form, to look like a sticky memo. I'm using Access 2010, but this lesson is valid for most previous versions of Access. Here I have a real simple customer form. You can see I've got the customer ID, first name, last name, address, and so on. I'd like to spruce up this notes field right here so that it looks like a piece of yellow sticky paper. We can do this by going to design view. Now you can use the button on the ribbon if you'd like, but I'll right click here on the title bar or anywhere on the background of the form and go to design view. Now that I'm in design view, I'll come up to the form design tools section of the ribbon on the format tab and right over here in the font group you'll see a background color option. You can come down here and pick any color that you want. I'll come down and pick yellow right here under standard colors. Now that looks okay, but it's kind of bright. Let's go with a more faded yellow. So drop this down again. Come down to the bottom and pick more colors. This brings up the color palette. I like to go over to standard and pick any of these colors from the standard color wheel. Here's yellow, there's the bright yellow. I'll go with a more faded yellow, maybe right there. And then hit OK. And there's my faded yellow. If I switch back to form view now, you can see there's my new text box. Let's change the color of the text box's border. So I'll switch back to design view. Make sure the text box is selected. Come up to the format tab and right over here under shape outline drop this down and pick the color that you want. Let's go with blue. If you click off of it so it deselects the notes box you can see that dark blue border. How about red instead? Let's go with red. And there you can see the red border. Now in older versions of Access there was a button on the toolbar to change the effects for text boxes. Unfortunately this shape effects does not apply to text boxes. But those effects are still available. Double click anywhere on the border around this notes box and that will bring up the property sheet. There's the property sheet for this notes box. Now on the format tab find the special effect property. Right now it's set to flat but if you drop this box down you'll see there are lots of different options. There's raised, sunken, etched, shadowed is the one that I want. I'm going to go with shadowed. And now click over here and you can see the shadow behind your text box. If you don't want the shadow to be red, that's okay. Click on the notes box, change the shape outline to maybe a dark gray. And there we go. There's a nice shadow behind my notes box. Now I'll save my form, I'll hit Control S. I like to be in the habit of knowing those shortcut keys, Control S for save. And now I'll flip back over to form view and there you can see my notes box looks like a little piece of sticky paper. If you'd like to learn more, I cover this and lots more similar topics in my Access 2010 Beginner Level 2 course, which focuses mostly on building forms from scratch. You'll learn topics such as setting up a trusted location, form design view, adding fields to your form, manipulating form objects, working with the grid, formatting your form, themes, using layout view, and lots more. You can find more information about this course on my website at accesslearningzone.com. Thank you for watching this tip of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. For more free videos just like this one, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll get notified anytime I upload a new video. Plus, if you'd like to take any of my full access courses, you can find them on my website. Use this special link to get a huge discount. AccessLearningZone.com slash YouTube. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. My username on each is also 599CD.